How much did Sean William Scott actually get paid to play Stifler? Why didn't he mind getting typecast as the same character? And could Steve Stifler still save his career? Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's get started. Enter the Stiffmeister. While many actors toil for years on end trying to find their first big break in showbiz, Sean's meteoric rise in Hollywood took only three years. His first on-screen appearance came in 1996 as he appeared in the sitcom Unhappily Ever After. Then he was cast in the TV movie Born Into Exile and made an appearance in the Aerosmith music video for Hole In My Soul a year later. However, it was in 1999 when he truly announced his arrival on the screen as he portrayed Steven Stifler, aka the Stiffmeister, in the teen comedy American Pie. No one expected the film to become the box office juggernaut that it was. It made over $235 million from a budget of $11 million, but it also catapulted the cast into the public eye and turned them into overnight superstars. At the forefront was Sean, whose hijinks and comedic timing as the sex-mad stifler had the audience in stitches. Plus, who could ever forget his vulgar but hilarious lines that have become iconic over the years? While many actors later come to regret parts they've become known for, Sean appreciates what the role did for his career. He told Entertainment Weekly, I was just always hoping that I could be in movies. I never thought about playing a character that people would remember, so for me, it was like a dream come true. Naturally, the sequels were fast-tracked into production, and Sean was welcomed back with open arms as he became the undisputed star of the franchise. He also managed to bump up his meager salary of $8,000 for the first film to a reported $5 million and profits for his final appearance in American Reunion. Sheesh! Now that's some real moolah right there. With his lead actor status cemented and the ability to command such a high salary, you'd think he'd be in the driver's seat for the rest of his life. However, the role of Stifler cast a major shadow over the rest of his career that he struggled to shake off. It's weird how success works, right? Playing the same character over and over again. Seeing how much the audience loved the Stifler character, studios knew that Sean was crucial to that era of teen comedies. So he started to be cast as similar characters in movies like Dude Where's My Car, Road Trip, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and Old School. There was a time when it looked like you couldn't escape seeing him in movies alongside the big names like The Rock, Ashton Kutcher, and Will Ferrell. To his credit, Sean didn't seem to care too much about being typecast and playing the same character over and over again. He told The Wrap in 2017, As I was reading scripts or I got offered parts early on, I thought, I don't care about being typecast. Those characters are so much fun. I'd rather be that guy than more of like, the straight guy. Even in different films like The First Final Destination, Sean's role wasn't too far off from the character he played in American Pie. In fact, you'd argue his biggest character departure was his voice performance as Crash in the Ice Age film series. That's so cool! Hollywood saw him as the perennial young, funny guy who always brought levity to the moment. The audience loved him too, as most of these films became box office hits or even cult classics on home video. However, a problem started to develop towards the 2010s. Sean was in his mid-30s by then and could no longer pass as the high school or college guy in films. At the same time, the teen comedy genre had become tiresome, and Hollywood sensed the shift, choosing to go in a different direction with its comedies. It also didn't help that Sean was struggling with his own personal demons. Battling Personal Problems Sean has always been a very guarded individual. He doesn't like to discuss what's happening in his personal life, and has refused to comment on relationships he's had with other famous celebrities. In fact, not many people know that he wed interior designer Olivia Korenberg. So it was incredibly shocking to hear that he checked himself into rehab for 30 days in 2011, even if most people could see that he didn't quite look like himself when he made a cameo in Jackass 3D. His representatives said the following in a statement. Sean William Scott has voluntarily admitted himself for proactive treatment to address health and personal issues. He appreciates the support of his many fans at this time. While Sean never discussed what he went in for, he admitted how tough fame had been on him. He revealed how tough it was to convince fans that he wasn't anything like his Stifler character in real life. Fans would approach him in the street and invite him out for shots and to go drinking because they thought he was a party animal and he'd have to tell them it was only a movie character. 
After his stint in rehab, Sean stepped away from big Hollywood productions for a few years, with American Reunion being his only high-profile gig. He didn't work as aggressively as he had the years prior and took on smaller parts in less recognizable films. Some fans and critics even questioned if he was done as an actor due to him largely disappearing from the scene. You know how it is in the biz. One moment you're on top, and the next, you're forgotten. Many wondered if his earlier success as Stifler was more of a curse than a blessing, as he struggled to shake off the funny guy label and find success outside of the teen comedy genre. However, Sean wasn't done quite yet. A mini career renaissance. Realizing that he needed to change things up a bit, Sean found some moderate success in the goon comedy film series as a semi-professional ice hockey player. While not as widely renowned as American Pie, the movies did find an audience on streaming services and home video. However, Sean's next big success was being cast as Wesley Cole in the third season of Lethal Weapon. It was a leading role, and one that brought him positive attention for all the right reasons. He received immense praise for his outstanding performance and for bringing a fresh new energy to the show. Now we're a go. Entertainment Weekly's Derek Lawrence gushed over his debut, saying, Scott's a swell new addition to the cast, with the specific charisma of a little kid who just got mind swapped into the body of some kind of action hero. And it looked like he was about to re-establish himself in the eyes of the mainstream audience. Unfortunately, due to the decline in ratings and co-star Damon Wayans' desire to leave the series, Lethal Weapon was soon cancelled. It felt like yet another blow to Sean's career, as he seemed to have been redefining himself and building himself back up again. He rolled with it though and didn't seem too bothered by what had transpired. Instead of looking to the past or trying to give up entirely, he decided to change direction and to follow a new trajectory. It was something that he'd been wanting to do for some time and had slowly dipped his feet in before. Sean wanted to do more serious films. Yes, the original Stiffmeister had his eyes set on drama and horror films. Who would have ever thought that would happen? A brand new niche. Actors love to act, and you'll find that they all hold hopes and dreams of appearing in a wide range of productions. While Sean never had a problem with being typecast, he also wanted to spread his acting wings and to show the audience that he was more than just a funny dude in crude comedies. His desires are very reminiscent of Jim Carrey's, who also wanted to release the shackles of being a comedian and to be seen as more of a serious actor. In an interview with Screen Rant, Sean revealed the following, I don't really actually watch comedies. My entire career, it's all I've done, and I love them. There are amazing comedies that come out, but I tend to watch movies in the horror genre. Sean received his opportunity to show off his horror credentials in the 2018 film Bloodline. While it didn't exactly light up the box office or become the next big scare franchise, no one could deny that Sean was mesmerizing in the movie and certainly displayed a more serious side to his acting abilities. The next year, he further stepped out of his comfort zone by appearing in the drama film Already Gone. Again, it wasn't a huge financial or critical success, but it displayed to everyone that Sean can actually do a whole lot more if given the opportunity. Unfortunately, it seems like Hollywood isn't too convinced that he's anything besides a comedic actor. Despite these performances and his desire to do different material, it was recently announced that he'll star in the upcoming remake of the BBC comedy series This Country. No matter what he does or where he goes, he always seems to find himself coming back to the beginning and what made him famous in the first place. But will he accept it? The Return of the Stiffmeister even though a handful of American Pie films have been released without the main cast, the Stifler legacy lives on through his relatives and the spin-offs. That being said, fans of the series would love nothing more than the original Stiffmeister making a return to the franchise. Well, the good news is that Sean hasn't ruled out the possibility, revealing that he stays in touch with the creators and they've discussed it regularly. He told Entertainment Weekly, It would be funny to see Stifler in his 40s, just a loser. Our version of Old Man Logan. It's Old Man Stifler, he's kind of fat, he's a stripper, and his stage name is Inferno and he dresses like a fireman. Now that he mentioned it, you just know you want to see that happen. His co-star Tara Reid has also confirmed that the creators want to do a fifth film in the main franchise, so talks are definitely ongoing behind the scenes. Undoubtedly, Sean will always be seen as Stifler, and he accepts that's what he'll be remembered for when he eventually retires. It's tragic, though, that Hollywood hasn't looked past it and seen the really good actor that lies beneath the surface. 
perhaps one last run as Stifler will give him the opportunity to prove to everyone that he's still got it. If anything, it'll give the audience the chance to once again fall in love with the wild character Sean brought to life over two decades ago. But now it's time to hear from you. Why do you think Hollywood struggles to see Sean as anything but Stifler? And will a comeback be on the cards? Thanks for watching, and let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And while you're at it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.